One of the ears is gone. So if you were to purchase it, you'd probably get a reduction for it. Hmm, but why purchase something that's broken? Well, there are some people that know how to help it. Let me put this away because a person can say, <laughs> you're the one that broke. I don't really like that one. Look at the, is this a deer or is it? <laughs> Whether the car will fit the pot plant at the back because we have to put your wheelchair there as well. I have a whole lot of flowers and I'm looking for something similar to that one over there. This is a pot plant. Yeah, I think. Um, what do you think? Do you think this is something worth purchasing? Yeah, it's worth. Yeah, it's everybody, so today we are headed off to. Orlando police station and there is Aaron over there hi guys welcome back to footprints and real so today we are basically doing work it is a work day and although it might look like a simple casual day husband is dressed very casually um, and I'm also dressed casually to be honest so we're just gonna go to a couple of places run a few errands you wanna say hi hi what's up family <laughs> And how are you today? No, I'm okay. That's good. So going up in the car. Oh, let me let me open the door for you. Okay. Here I am. Okay, so here, here he is. I'm just gonna do my normal transfers. Get into the car. The quad way. <laughs> there you go, one leg at a time. Careful not to hurt yourself. I normally remove my cushion, it's a J cushion, J light. It helps one prevent uh, pressure sores from uh, developing on your butt. Because normally when you paralyze, you have poor circulation and this lack of circulation uh, causes your body cells to die in that area where there's uh, no circulation because there's no oxygen and then you start developing pressure cells. So a cushion like this has got a foam inside. Let me open so that you see. You see it's also got this hook because it's quadriplegic. We cannot hold so they, they put this hook for us so that we can zip it nicely. It's very clever. Yes and uh, it's got this foam in the middle. Oh, okay. That's Can I just show the, the viewers what the foam looks like? Yeah, okay, that's so what the butt. That's what, what the butt. And you can see there's a little oval shape yes. right there in the center where the butt is supposed to be. And uh, and it's got holes and a lot of holes. So it's specifically made for people on wheelchairs that have don't have circulation, and it helps prevent pressure sores. So for whoever wants to know what kind of a cushion this is, I'm sure we can put a link in the description, right? Yes, it's called a J-Lite. A J-Lite. So we'll just put a link of the general website if there is a website. I'm sure it, there, yeah, there is a website. This yes, is. yes. And uh, in Africa, they don't come cheap because they're made in America and we have to import them. And how many dollars? How many dollars do you think it's, it costs it's, about, around about? To us, it costs about 5,000 to 6,000 rand. So. That's around about six hundred dollars. Um, well, actually, it's actually it's, it's more less. than it's, it's more than significantly more than six hundred dollars. So we're maybe looking around about seven hundred to eight hundred dollars um, for a J cushion, just like this one. So what are we going to do today? Today we're just gonna look for some stuff. We're going to go to the police station. Work some, related. Work related. Yeah. <laughs> get some documents signed and then we. Go to a hardware store. It's called Builder's Warehouse. So, yep, I love that. Although I'm not very good at repairing things and fixing things, but uh, yeah, I like. But you did woodwork. Yeah, right. I did woodwork, and I've got a knowledge of it. And yeah, it's one. It's an up, upmarket, trendy warehouse, so to speak. Anyway. Okay. Let's hit the road. Okay, honey. Let's let's hit the road. I'm just gonna go and uh, do what I usually do: lock up and put the the wheelchair back inside the house. Thank you. Thanks, guys. See you guys on the flip side, I guess. Yes. <laughs> Bye. Bye. 
Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're here today at Builders Warehouse and we're just looking for a couple of things. It has been a semi-long day. Oh yeah, it's been hectic, but uh, yeah, I like this uh, store because it's a hardware store and you get all that you want. So uh, it's, a, it's a very convenient place for everything. Okay, so we just want to look for a... We just want to look for a couple of, um, well, just one, because the outside of our place isn't looking too good. So we're just looking for like a, a vase or something. Um, this is probably one of my favorite places to be. Okay, so here we have... Which is it? Yeah. And, um... It's 265, but I don't know, are they all 265? Yeah, I guess so. I think they're all 265. You see this one here? Yeah. This one is 290, this bigger one. This bigger clay pot. And this is uh, We'll have to, to ask one of the attendants. Okay. But uh, yeah. What about this little garden ornament? Yeah, we should get like a small garden gnome or something. But they're so expensive. Yeah, yeah. I really do like this warthog. <laughs> and it's cute. It's back so cute. Day, back in the days, it was a uh, totem. Oh yeah! Um, oh my gosh! I, I just, I just uh, gravitated towards it. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know, Togo. What what is it that we're looking for exactly? Yeah. This is watering holes, watering whatever. Um, for birds, they actually attract snakes because oh. snakes. So they always say you be behind there. But it's a very reasonable price. This one is a 610 Rand. Here's more um, vases here. Yeah. That was I think these ones, these flower like ones, are very nice. These ones here. Two, so this one is 230. How durable are they? Very. Chances of this one breaking are the odds are very slim. So, so which one do you prefer? I don't know. You you can help me choose. I'm not too sure. We're gonna have to um, get something that's not too big and not too small. Which um, one do you think is nicer? One of those. These are very big, uh, and and what kind of what kind of plants would you want to fit in here? Because this is huge. This is very huge. These ones are very uh, big. A, a palm tree, or what do they call them? These semi-desert trees. Can I show you one? Yeah. So these. Mm. How much are we looking at? Yeah. This is 395 and then this one, which is very nice. I think this will go very well in the entry. Look, look at how it looks inside the the thing there. Maybe maybe this, this particular pot plant will, will be best. This one. Together with the thing. Together with the thing, but are you oh. Okay, so yeah, let's look at it. Okay, so here's the here are the 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 pot plants, but now and we can even get this this particular thing here. The big one. Huh? No, 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 not this. This. Yeah, it's a. Uh, this comes water, for ninety rand. Ne? It's water tolerant. Yeah. It's water tolerant, and the pots themselves have drainage holes as well, which is a plus. Some pots don't come with drainage holes. So which pot, which pot are you looking at? Exactly this one. <laughs> so only know it's how much? We're looking at 238 plus 90. Look around a bit more. Yeah, we can look around. I just Let me just go get the trolley. I'm coming back okay. now. Okay. Sure. Sorry about that. If there's anything you, can, you, you feel we might... Because most majority of the pots are this side, hey? So yeah guys, you can see how 
beautiful there's some chili here um, long red cayenne habanero chili which i think this is awesome because i love me some chili Ooh, and they have chili too right oh chili yeah but we're planting our own chili no like like real chili you know chilies so which is more prudent to buy this or to plant our own like what get the seeds yeah huh you get seeds yeah. instead yes. okay you say so so we're just gonna look at the other um uh pots and plants yeah and the see other I don't. I actually think that these ones, these clay ones here, are the best. So guys, tell us what you think. If you like this orange clay pot over here, or if you prefer my husband's choice, which is this gray, one of those gray pots okay. on that side. But why would you wanna? Why would you buy a pot plant to paint it at the end of the day? Because of the it's a, it's a, the volume. I'm all... mm, I don't. I don't really like. That one, but it's gone to the dog now because one of the ears is gone. So, if you were to purchase it, you'd probably get a reduction for it. Mm, but why purchase something that's broken? Well, there are some people that know how to offer it. Let me put this away because the person can say, <laughs> You're the one that broke it. Oh. Okay. Oh. Ferns are also very good, but I'm not too sure if they're tolerant of the sun. Uh, they're normally light, it's uh, only water wise. So they are all water oh, okay. Sorry. Hello. How much is that thing? Because there's no price on this one. Clay pot. Clay pot. Clay pot. Yeah. Because it's it's not it's not smaller it's not it's medium. Because can you see those ones? They are quite big. Okay. 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 Yeah, I get what you mean, don't. But the plastic ones, you want so. Uh, yeah. Okay, get, get that then. This one. Yeah. Yeah, but how much is it? Because the that one over there, if I'm correct, is supposed to be like two. Hey guys thanks for watching so after a very long day we managed to get the clay pot and it is one of the clay pots that you're seeing right over there it's one of these orange clay pots and so um, yeah it was quite a hectic day because there was no meeting of minds between my husband and I but um, we eventually managed to come to a decision so thank you guys for watching um, i would really appreciate if you could like share and subscribe and this is food brains and wheels catch you on the flip side catch you on the flip side guys bye